What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Schultz, just in case you don't know by now. And I review really cool products that I see pop up on my Facebook and my Instagram or wherever I see ads and I like them and I buy them. Kind of like Ariana Grande. I see it, I like it, I want it, I buy it. But the only reason I really buy them is because I review them for you to make sure that they are a winner and you don't waste your money when you see them come across your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed. Before I get started reviewing and testing out this product that I've seen pretty much everywhere, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. You can also find me across multiple platforms. I have a Facebook, I have an Instagram, I have a Twitter, so that if you just can't get enough of me, you can follow me everywhere. All of those links are down below in the description. All right, let's jump right on in. Here you go. How many of you have actually seen this product already? come across your social media feed because I've seen this so many times, but I feel like I get more ads than the typical person because I purchase more things than the typical person because I review stuff for you. So this right here is a tool that you use in the kitchen when you are cooking. On the advertisement, it says you are supposed to be able to plop this into your pan that is on the oven the oven, no, the stove top, it shows how much I cook. You are supposed to put this into your pan that is on the stove top, and then you can fill these little holes with either eggs or pancake mix so that it cooks right on in there. You grab these two little tabs and then you are able to easily flip them and so that it makes little tiny perfect circles. It also makes it easier to flip because let's be honest, I am really bad at flipping stuff, like flipping eggs or pancakes, especially eggs and not cracking them open. So this might make my job a lot easier. Plus, I love that it has these tiny little molds so that my kids are more likely to eat them. I feel like when they are perfect and cute and little and they are in some kind of shape, my kids are more intrigued. I thought that this was the only mold they had because this is the only mold that I saw on the advertisements, but when I went to the website and looked, they had multiple. I think they have like stars. They have a ton of different shapes, a ton of different molds. So if this one works, I might buy another one. I don't know what more I can say about this mold thingy, pancake, egg, mold, flipper, pan, stovetop thing. So I think we just need to go try it out, see if it works, and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It is time to try out this flipping fantastic pan thing. And I actually started looking up videos to see exactly how you're supposed to do it and I already think it might be a fail based on the videos that I looked up, but let's try it out anyways. I made pancake mix, I also scrambled some eggs, and I am planning on making one sunny side up egg, seeing if each one of them work or if any of them work. The first thing I decided to try was the pancakes. I made the pancake mix the exact same way I always do. I decided to use a really big pan so that it can lay flat on the pan, but I can already tell that it doesn't lay completely flat, so this might be an issue. Yeah, exactly what I thought. It's totally an issue. The pancake mix goes through the bottom, spreads out everywhere, it is not perfect circles, and it also does not flip. It is probably the messiest pancakes I have ever made in my whole entire life. This thing definitely did not make pancake flipping easier. In fact, it even made it worse than before. Before I made the scrambled eggs, I went to go clean off this pan. It says that it was easy to clean, it's nonstick, it would just wash right out. That was a lie. It was actually really difficult to clean. I had to go in the grooves because all the pancake mix got stuck inside each one of the grooves. Next up were the scrambled eggs. I made them the exact same way that I always do. I laid it down flat like you are supposed to do. I filled up the cups and already I can see that it's gonna be an issue. I can see it pouring out from the bottom. It is not staying in perfect circles like it is supposed to, just like the pancake mix. 
It does not flip. It does not do anything it says it was supposed to do. It is a horrible mess in the pan. Not a big deal. It's still going to taste good and I'm still going to have scrambled eggs and pancakes for breakfast, but it's not going to look too pretty. Last up, I decided to try the sunny side up egg because that is always the most challenging to flip. I don't know why I'm trying this last. I already know that it's not going to work based on my first two attempts, but I tried it anyways. Like I thought, does not work. This flippin' fantastic pan flipper is flippin' horrible and I do not like it. All right, that is it. I haven't had a fail in a really long time. I feel like most of the products that I have been choosing and purchasing have been wins. So this one though, I'm gonna have to say it's a fail. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I even tried the last time when I did with the sunny side up egg, I even tried like turning it over, thinking it would give it more of a seal, but then you can't flip it. So overall, it just makes no sense. It doesn't work. I mean, unless you have one and it works for you. If this is the case and you have one and you love it, let me know in the comments below and let me know what I am doing wrong because I want to like this product. Also, as always, I am going to leave a poll so that you guys can vote and let me know if this product is a winner or a loser. I mean, I'm already guessing I know what the answer is. And I am not putting this product on my website. There is no link for you to purchase because I don't like it. <laughs> I'm so bummed. I wanted to like this. I thought it was gonna be an awesome product. The ad on my Facebook looks so good. Leave a comment letting me know if there are any other products that you would like me to review for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you guys again next time. Mwah.